All right, so tonight the Warriors lost to the hottest team in the NBA, the Memphis Grizzlies, and lose their third of their last fourth game. Um, yeah, I mean, this game was kind of slow from the start. The Warriors were kind of getting outplayed. They were down by as much as 19 points, and they did cut the lead down. Warriors are, you know, definitely known as a very good third quarter team. And in this third quarter, they had close to 40 points. They ended it up with uh, 39, but they couldn't get the job done. And there was still no Draymond Green tonight. I think if we had Draymond Green, we would have won. Final score was 116 to 108, which seems like, you know, a sizable amount, but it was a very close game uh, going into the final moment. So the Warriors actually had the lead uh, going, you know, certain moments in the fourth, but they couldn't get the job done. Cool to see Clay Thompson definitely again. Uh, this is his second game back. He did pretty good. He had 14 points in 20 minutes. Um, he did miss some shots, but, you know, he's still adjusting to being back in the NBA. Uh, as for Stephen Curry, you know, he has struggled recently, but tonight he had a triple-double, which is great to see, uh, with 27 points, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds. Um, coming in for, you know, uh, Draymond Green, who's obviously out with uh, calf issues, is Juan Toscano, who really didn't play too much, only seven minutes. Wiggins had 13 points and four rebounds, but you know, the Warriors just couldn't get the job done when they needed to. They were missing shots at the end of the game. Um, they were making some good shots. I mean, I got to give credit to Gary Payton. He was hitting shots. He was being really aggressive with the rebounds, but, you know, they just couldn't get it, you know, over with. That's That was the issue. And like I said, the Grizzlies have won 10 in a row now. Uh, they're just one win back of us. They played a couple more games than us, however, so we're still technically ahead of them in terms of standings. Um, this is our 40th game of the year, so we're, you know, our next game will be the halfway mark through the season. Uh, Jordan Poole had 12 points, but we really couldn't stop the Grizzlies. Uh, John Morant had 29 points. Everyone knows that he's a great player, and you know, there's kind of an ongoing thing that like the Grizzlies own the Warriors, and I agree. We don't play our best basketball against Memphis dating back to last season. But I will say this. I think if we, you know, had a fully healthy team having Draymond Green in the starting lineup, I think we would have won. The Grizzlies played really sloppy in the second half. And if it weren't for hitting their shots in the fourth quarter, we probably would have won. Uh, Jaron Jackson had 13 points. He had a double-double with uh, 11 rebounds. Zaire Williams had 17 points. And Tyus Jones uh, hit a lot of threes and he had 17 points. I mean, the Grizzlies were kind of just came out and kind of caught us off guard I'll be honest they just kind of caught the Warriors in their tracks um I didn't really expect the Grizzlies to play as good as they did but they did um I gotta give credit though to the Warriors they played strong um for a portion of this game I just think they have to finish strong uh the Warriors almost came back though and almost you know made a spoiler of this game uh they took an early lead in this game dating back to the first quarter but then the Grizzlies just got a wide margin uh, starting it off. And it was a big turnover issue for the Warriors as well, uh, you know, starting out the game. When it was all said and done, the Warriors had 16 turnovers, five more than the Grizzlies. So that's going to hurt you, uh, you know, in terms of the game. The Grizzlies shot 100 shots in this game, and made 44 of them. And I mean, that's just something I thought I'd bring up because that's a lot of shots. They were also making their threes. They were pretty good when th with their three-pointers. The Warriors were shooting better tonight, too. Uh, and I give them credit, you know, these past four games or so, they haven't really shot very well, but tonight they did um, a, a lot better. And we're going to be playing the defending NBA champs next game, which will be the Bucks, of course. And so, yeah, that's going to be definitely a challenge. Warriors haven't been playing as good lately. Like I said, we've lost three of four, which is something that's really unheard of for this team this season, considering we've only lost 10 games total. That's almost half our losses. Um, and we're second now, of course, we're game back of, Mem of Phoenix, uh, and we're followed by the Jazz and the Grizzlies. Phoenix has won 31 and lost nine. So it's a very close runnings, but yeah, 116, 108, Warriors moved to 30 and 10, Grizzlies moved to 29 and 14. I'm not angry with this loss, but I'm not satisfied with the ending. I think the Warriors, you know, they could have finished stronger. They weren't hitting shots. I think there were some questionable lineup choices at the end of the game with Steve by Steve Kerr. Um, I think, you know, the Warriors put in Curry a little bit earlier uh, in the fourth. I think they might have had more momentum, but I don't know. I can't play hypothetical games, but, you know, we lost. That's that's the end of it. We got to move on. You know, we're still high up in the standing, so it's not detrimental. But I think we have to figure out how to beat Memphis. We beat them in our last meeting, but... You know, we've lost two two out of three to them this year. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys later. And, yeah, go Warriors.